Hello everyone, my name is Karazar, and welcome back to Sunless Sea, where we are here about to depart from Fallen London in order to go down to Adam's Way and continue the quest for the Clattery Heart. And yes, I realized that I could just buy a pretty decent, actually a very decent ship right here, the Caligo class merchant cruiser, but it's not as interesting, and it's very slow. And while it would be nice for some big trading stuff, it is a big chunk of change. And I would rather just get the free ship and kind of push on some other storylets as we do. As we do that. So let's go ahead and we're going to launch. I did buy a few more supplies, so we are ready to roll. Now I think what I'll do is I am going to stop at a few places along the way. Like I might sort of actually just go straight down here and across, and then we'll kind of like go like back up this way to see if there are any other places where we can stop and have the Clattery Air get her souvenirs. Let's see, where is the Utter Shroom again? You're there. You know what? It might actually make sense to bring along some casks of the prisoner's honey and get some blemigans. And see if we can get some more souvenirs that way, because they're pretty cheap to do. Let's see. Three. That's not a whole lot, but hey, there we go. All right, so let's stop at Mutton Island and check things there. And Cuban Canal, the Iron Republic, maybe Grand Jude if we can make it in. Port Carnelian. The Fathom King's Hold is there. We can stop there, too. We'll probably stop here. We'll go up and then back across and up and over. And that should get us a decent number of port reports and possibly some more clattery souvenirs. Here we are at Quaker's Haven. Let's take a look at what's here. Explore the shore. Pick up Wretched Mog. Let's get our port report first. There we go. And then I think we'll visit the hilltop. It's usually a pretty good place to uh, get some good stuff. Oh, I got a secret. Very nice. That's pretty cool. Alright, off we go. Off to the Kimian Canal. Hey, here we go. There's also a Jilly Fleur again. Uh, let's just keep moving so we can spin around you. And... Go! Miss me, please. I just repaired my ship. Do not smack into me. Very nice. Boom. That's right. Come at me, bro. Scoop it up. Nice. Since we already have two strange catches, I'm not super concerned about uh, getting more. Although I think, let's talk to her again. If we have more live specimens, will you do more? No, okay. We want Blemigans or Soothing Keeper Long Boxes or Prisoners. Blemigans it is, I guess. stop in here and don't forget if uh, you guys see me hovering over any buttons that require the use of the recent news before we get to Adam's way yell at me so I stop oh hey here we go nice so we have an urgent intervention he wants to go to the surface because uh, he wants to see the sun probably and he must stop the sorry because it would kill him uh, interesting this will always reduce a cloudy souvenir and make any crew member okay that's fine so we got a souvenir, we got a crew member. We can't actually carry that crew member, so we didn't gain one. Bye, dude. <laughs> uh, we are not going to the surface, but we'll get information for report report, which gives the five, popping five echoes, and get some surface gossip. Nice. And this is great for telling to our kid, by the way. So it is great to just pick up stuff there like that. All right, we are off to the Iron Republic. 
And here we are with all the jaunty music of the Iron Republic. Iron Republic. Not sure why that's so hard to pronounce sometimes. Don't smack the land. Hey, more fragments. Not too bad. And let's go ahead and dock. Let's see anything to buy here? Fuel for cheap, but I don't really need it at the moment. So we. Interesting. I wonder if this gets us reduced terror. I don't know. Very weird. Let's get our port report. We've lost two hearts. What? Oh, that's... Ugh. Don't like that. That was not worth it. Well, shops are open, apparently. The Market of Hungers. And we gained a terror. <laughs> this place is awful. <laughs> not gonna lie. It's awful. Uh, we'll keep this in black for now. Let's go ahead and head down to... I guess we'll probably hit the Grand Geo, unless that giant uh, shiny ship is in the way. Because I am pretty sure they are not friendly. Let's see, we can go straight south from here to get there. Okay. And here we are, pulling to Zello's town. Let's see what we can do here. There was something we did here last time that seemed like we could continue it next time we arrived. Let's see, we can purchase an element of dawn with 50 supplies, wow. Oh, oh, here we go, okay. Interesting. Huh, so we can get a defense against sunlight for Estival. He smiles warmly, of course he says, but we'll need our usual consideration to do the work. And it won't be easy. We'll need a Gantt source from the Chalinate and a particular insight. A very, very particular insight. We have to get the Dread Surmise. Interesting. And 50 supplies. <laughs> wow. Well, that could be fun to do, too. I don't know. We'll see. So if, if we do choose to do this, this would then change our... Uh, our goal. So currently we're looking for our father's bones. We could then change it to be found a colony and that would become our new win condition for the game. Let's get our port report. Let's speak with somebody in authority. Oh, good. Whoa. Well, I didn't like that too much. Wow. A blank space memory. You saw the Commodore, and then... Then there's something bright. You discuss matters of importance. You're certain of it. Teasing clues linger in your memory. A dealer asked to stay behind. You permitted it. Because... Because... It'll all become clear later. Probably. Wonderful. Love it. <laughs> Not. <laughs> uh, you know, there are just... Some things in this game that just drive me nuts. It's like, oh, I'm going to click this button, and you die. It's like, what? <laughs> right, to be fair, when we died last, it was my own fault, but, you know, whatever. Well, we're going to get to Port Carnelian, and I'll see all of you there, I guess. Okay, here we are. The calming music of Port Carnelian. Let's see what we have here. Shops. Don't really need either of these. Um, no, we're not really going to the Conate, so I think we'll skip that. <gasps> yes, another patient. Okay, sweet. Right. Okay. We did that one before. She wanted to escape her addiction to having uh, furs. This gives just one... Ah, oh, we lost five. Okay, you know what? Let's do a few of those. There we go. That's much more manageable. Let's get our port report. And we can pan for sapphires. Let's do it. Tail of terror and one terror. That's fine. I can manage that. All right. 
Well, nothing else to do here, but we're collecting our souvenirs. So if we talk to her now, we have 40% chance. So we need basically five more souvenirs. And then we can talk to her and it'll actually convince her that the guy that we met is indeed her father. So that is the goal. Let's get over to Adam's way, although we're going to have to deal with those blue birds and ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. If I see the blue birds, I will just duck underwater and call it a day. Hopefully. I'll have to be a little bit away from shore for that. But unless anything awful happens, I will see all of you over in Adam's way. Okay, folks, we are back. There were several sets of blue prophets that I had no intention of dealing with. However, we did get a... Ah, Eigel is here. Okay. We did get word that there was a settlement here. And we are... Uh, a little over halfway to Adam's Way. Let's go ahead and visit this. There was something we wanted to do here. Don't recall what, but I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and dock. Any shops here? Ooh. We can sell stuff here. Not awful prices on fuel and supplies. We'll buy one supply. What is here? Let's get a port report. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think we had a mission for Igul. Yeah, wait a second. Oh, we have to get a Hunter's Keep first. Okay. Interesting. Okay, never mind. Well, not much to do here then, I guess. There was something else here. Oh, you're just rocks. Okay. I am going to definitely stay underwater a little while longer because those uh, blue blue prophets hit me once. 15 hull. Yeah. There it is, right there. So we are going to definitely not tangle with them anymore. It is nice being able to sort of duck underwater here and there, and this one's faster, apparently. Okay, whatever. But yeah, it's nice being able to duck underwater and avoid that kind of trouble here and there. Because they were keeping up with me, even with uh, full power. And that was just a little spooky. A little five spooky three me. Let's see. Yeah, let's take this here. This might give us the boost I'm looking for. Let's see if we can... In we go. There we go. So here we move faster. And you are moving, so we're not going to tangle with you. Let's get out of here, and we'll surface. Oh my, yeah, you're spooky. And here we are. Ta-da! All right, let's dock. Anything I need to buy here? Not really. Let's see. Well, we have a tail of a city recently fallen. Not sure how recent it is, but okay. And we now have what we need. Let's ask the storyteller about the clattery heart. Okay. So, of course, we found out where it goes here. If it's not in the river, where did it go? Is there anywhere where it might be now? And we have one more thing we can do here. Um, let's see. Um, this an exhibition. Let's help at the hospital. We're we're good people, right? We can root out a reckless poet. What does this do? Modest challenge, chancy challenge, modest challenge. Let's root out a reckless poet. The seller has discovered scraps of love poetry on the pantry floor. Ooh, that's, ooh, yeah. Illegal stuff. The abbot wants the perpetrator found before they dangerously inflamed the inmate's passions. We succeeded. We got some romantic literature. 
You catch the poet red-handed, composing by candlelight in a cupboard. Her hair is damp with sweat. She clutches the page she was writing tightly, knowing you'll try to take it. You watch his corners curl under her heat. Sorrowfully, the monks break the poet's pen and spill her ink. They give her magnum opus, the courier's wish to you for disposal. Oh, cool. All right. Well, we are done here for now. Let's see. For your own protection. The soil of the other continent is dangerous to incomers, they claim. Those who linger can contract unfortunate conditions, hysteria, rapture, and emescence. And the rumors that the Presbyterian law offers no protection to foreigners after dark? Errant nonsense. Well, let's see what she has to say. Let's talk to you. Um, yes, is it worth seeking the ship further in Khan's shadow? You know, if we're going to Khan's shadow, how is our cargo hold looking? A little full. So I guess I'm not going to really bother with the coffee beans then. Not really worth it at that point. So let's go ahead and... We'll head up to Khan's Shadow, which is a straight shot north past the Utter Shroom, which is perfect. So, yeah, let's be on our way. I'll catch all of you at the Utter Shroom when we are working toward getting more of these Blemigans. And we'll see what we catch here. And here we are. Let's pull into port. And no shops, of course. Let's do... Gather intelligence. Any free Blemigans? No. Okay. I think you do occasionally get free Blemigans from that. Let's trade some honey. Sure. Oh, and some supplies too? That's not too bad. That's actually really worth it. That's really worth it. Wow, okay. Let's talk to her and see if we can get her to get us any more of these souvenirs. Strongly against you here, that's fine. You're fortunate. Nice. So we're now at 50%. More Blemigans. And one last Blemigan. Hey, nice. 60%. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Let's go to Khan Shadow, see if we can get any more good things there. Oh, right, there's actually this. A member of distant shores? Cool. Not too bad. So let's hit up Khan Shadow. Um, we've been to Nook. I'm gonna go pretty much straight there. I don't have any other agenda at the moment. So yeah, I'll see all of you in Khan Shadow. Unless anything terrible happens to us along the way. Nous sommes arrivés in Khan Shadow. There we are. Let's go ahead and see if she will find Battery Heart. We succeeded. Okay. Now, I think we failed last time, didn't we? Don't recall. Let's ask along the shipwrights. They say it's gone to Frostfound. All right. And what do you want? Beneath the Z, Captain, there is a city of murderers within it, a plant known as Tether. Bring me a drop and I'll pay you handsomely. Sure, why not? And Rack. I'm not sure I know where Rack is. But let's buy... Uh, I'm not ready for you just yet. I don't, I'm going to wait till we get the Clattery Heart. And then we will do some more Mirror Catch Box trading. I know. I know, guys. I know. I can hear you beating your screens up, yelling at me not to. <laughs> or at least to be careful. <laughs> um, but we're good there. And I think that should be good. So we're going to go across here. I'm going to stop by whatever this is. This might even be Rack. I don't know. Um, if it is, then we'll come back to Con Shadow and, and see what we get for that. 
thing that we got for the guy here. Uh, if not, then we'll stop at the salt lines, pick up some more Sphinx salt, and run back to London. That will be a pretty good loop for today, I think. So let's let's get going. And I also think I will skip the Nephrite quarter and everything until we have the larger ship. We can just bring 25 coffee beans and it's like, you know, just over a quarter of our hold rather than over half our hold. So I'll see all of you when we get over here, which shouldn't be too long. And we'll see what's there. And here we are at somewhere. Oh, it's Rack. Okay, sweet. Right, Rack. Bunch of dead ships. Makes sense to me. Well, let's go visit and see what we can find here. Oh, clunk. Really? Okay, we have to earn our entry. No shops. Um, that could go badly. We have nine Tales of Terror. You bet. The wreckers surround your docked submarine. They greet you with crooked blades and rusted blunderbusses. Easy, trespasser. You went in. You prove you belong here. We'll impress them with tales of, our, of your daring, or at least make yourself the hero of a violent story you overheard. Let's do it. Natural-born storyteller. Your words are like hooks in their ears. The violence drags them where you will. By the end, they sheepishly lower their weapons, before raising them again in great cheer, sounding like the thundering of cannon fire. Damn fine, trespasser. Welcome to Rack. All right. So we can go wrecking, whatever that is. If you can lure ships toward Rack, the wreckers may sink them. Interesting. Huh. Eavesdrop on them. Taste the tether. It's a weed that grows in broken ships. Ah, uh, it is reserved for successful wreckers. And we need a Sintelec for this. Interesting. Well, that's, <laughs> that is fortuitous. Let's see. Let's get a port report. The wreckers know their duties. The poets brain testing lies. Talkers travel to other ports and spread them. Miners construct the devices that will sink the lured ships and salvagers strip them bare. The most celebrated of the wreckers wear no special costume, but are easily identified. They mobile poems in Arabic to themselves. They whistle lively tunes in new scales. They wear heavy gloves and carry silver clippers with which to cultivate tether. Let's buy an audience. The wreckers fear and adore their king. With the right offering, you may be able to meet him. Sometimes it happens this way. The rusted walls behind him are draped with two banners made of the tattooed flesh of his amputated legs. Oh my. He is admiring the Sintelec through our jeweler's lens as you enter. We are pleased. Tell me, he says, looking at you. How would you... Good God. He wheels towards you. His voice is hoarse. We are not strangers, you and I. Taste the tether and see for yourself. Okay. Interesting. We can taste the tether. Okay. Within the rustling innards of the broken battleship, the wreckers keep the tether. It is guarded by heavy bulwarks and priests capable of launching cannonballs across the room with their bare hands. It is the glory of Rack. Okay, we need... Ah, we need scrap, okay. Within the sanctum, where no water drips, there are walls, doors, and this pedestal of trinkets. It is watched over by a stony man, matron, sorry. Make an offering of scrap, and you may choose. I guess not. Um, sure. Let's try it. Right then, trespasser. We've heard fine things about some captains in Khan's heart. Why don't you go there and convince them to come our way? Also, eavesdrop on them. Interesting. A miner hangs on the arm of a poet. That's your best work yet. No one could resist. The poet shrugs. Its success all depends on the talker and the audience. But they're pretty protective in polythreme, aren't they? I'm sure we'll have another one sink over rack in a week. 
and consider the state of the city. Stores running low. There's enough food to subsist for a time, but the poets may soon be out of paper, and the miners won't be able to make their explosives if their powder isn't refreshed. But the fair king ensures there is order. He goes without, just as subjects do. He sees that those who forsake their work for despair are flogged. Okay, so we can basically trade for supplies. Okay. Well, we're not going to be getting any scrap here, so let's go ahead and get out of here. We're going to hit up the salt lions. Assuming I have 20 old space. And then I'll see all of you back in London. And we are home, sweet home. If something waits you, I think we should be okay. We do have a... We do have a literature, but it's not smuggled. So... It doesn't say it's uh, illegal. I guess I'll find out. Gentle encouragement. Alright, well, nothing to hide here. <gasps> oh, we have zero... Oh, man, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Not yet. Not yet, sir. Well, let's submit all our port reports. Get all of our different monies. That should be it. Okay. I think. Yep. Thought I had more. Oh, wait, no, we do. On shadow. Nope. And we are out of space. Right, the Sphinx Stone. I knew that. Once again. <laughs> overboard. Let's just dump our fuel in the water. It's really good for the environment. Alright, well let's deliver our Sphinx Stone. There we go. New recruit. Um, Yeah. We'll take it. And let's finish our port reports. Ah, station six. So I go to station six. Interesting. And we have a billion favors now, which is pretty cool. And let's see. Is the Rose Market? I think it's changed, I assume. Yeah. Um, let's stop at our lodgings. Let's read the papers. Very nice. Let's also talk with our family. And let's tell Tales of the Surface. Right, that wasn't, isn't as good as doing the uh, Z stories, okay. And from here, let's see, I think it might be wise to see if we can sell some of this. I want to save the Scintillac. Can we get rid of the literature? No. That's irritating. I wonder where we can sell it. Nowhere here, though. But I think we are going to probably spend the next episode filling out our Clattery Heirs uh, souvenirs. So we're going to probably head down to the Utter Shroom and just buy a bunch of Blumigans. We could also try to go around to different places. It might be worth doing like a bit of a, a small circuit. Uh, we could go up to Vendor Bite and uh, Wither because we need to go there anyway since we need a bunch of... or we need Salt's attention. So that could be worth doing. And we can get that. We can go visit the Sphinx, the Salt Lions again. We can go and get our souvenirs. And then we should be able to go and get the ship and keep her. Because I do want to keep her because she's a great, uh, she's a really good um, surgeon. So there we go. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I am looking forward to having a better ship again, even though we only had a mere taste of it last time before it was snatched from us by the jaws of defeat.
Jaws of the Sun. But let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, my name is Hasman Corazar. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.